Hey guys, it's Di and long time no see. I haven't uploaded on Organized Mommy with Style in a while because if you haven't seen Be Mommy with Style, we had quite the event happen at our house, so I'm still getting my eggs in a row from that. However, we're starting to bounce back and I thought that I would do a video today. People were asking about plan with me videos and so uh, you're probably gonna notice some changes coming up and so I wanted to do this video to share why it may have changed ever so slightly, I guess. Um, but it looks like there's just a pile of notebooks and a pile of planners sitting in front of me because there is. And basically I wanted to do a video going through all the planners that I have been through in 2016 or really in the past year. So pretty much the planners that I've been through in the past year are these that are sitting right here and I'll go through them and like why they worked for me at the time or why they'd stopped working for me. And then these are planners that I really had beforehand before I ever really did planner videos. And I've had some LV ones that I've sold along the way um, but this one on the top is Louis Vuitton and this one's the Framboy Vernie. I really love the Vernie. it's one of my favorites so I've held on to that one date codes 2005 on that one I believe and then a couple of Filofaxes I'm very excited about the new Malden colors that are coming out so I think I'm gonna get the fuchsia one and it's a really like soft leather these two are the Finsberries in a personal and um, compact and then this one is the first Kiki K that I got and then this one is the kind of lavender with it. gold. And then at some point along the way, I decided to switch from this binder style, which is like what the Filofax is. And this is pretty much what I'd used for like 10 years was this style, because I'd, I'd had pretty much these Louis Vuitton ones, and then I had the Filofax ones, and then I got the Kiki K. And so that's pretty much what I'd used for years after I was out of school, basically. And they would give you like these free bound ones, like for free at the schools that I went to. So I'd gone to the binder style for a long time. And then I decided to give this bound style a try again. So when we were moving over to Michigan, I got this one and used it. And it worked really great for, you know, the time period that we were moving. It was big and lots of um, space to write numbers and things like that. But then after the move was done, I felt like I could go down to a smaller version. So at the same time I ordered this Erin Condren which you'll notice I have the covers pulled off and I'll talk about that in a minute. But um, I went to the Erin Condren which is very fun to decorate. I would say the forte for Erin Condren is it's its forte is basically decorating. Like if you're in it for the decoration um, this is like the easiest and like most fun to decorate. Um, I got this plum paper planner and I really really wanted to love it. Honestly out of all the planners like just as far as it looks I like this one out of all the bound ones for sure the most. Um, I loved the paper. I thought the colors were great. However, I never used this one because I ordered a completely wrong setup for myself. Uh, I got it and I tried to use it like a week or two and it was just, it did not work for me. So I got this like really super divided setup and it just completely didn't work. If I would go back and order this one again, which I would consider in the future, I would get a setup that was more like um, these planners where it had the days all in one because I found that that just works a lot better for me more like the style where these binders um, how their pages usually are so this like super divided just doesn't work for me at all and my handwriting is really big so I need more handwriting space and I don't like all the division so that's another reason why the super small size this is like the pocket size in Filofax this is the PM size in Louis Vuitton that's why this size is really tough for me because my handwriting is so big so this one I got and I love it I just ordered the wrong setup basically for myself so I never really use it because it doesn't work for me in the setup so that's the one downfall to this is it's bound and once it's there it's there so you're pretty much stuck with it but I love the cover and I thought it was really high quality but I couldn't use it. So for the longest time when you guys were watching Plan With Me videos I was using this Erin Condren and I would say definitely like I said the fortes of this are super easy like it's it's a format it's so easy to video and you just boom 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 once you get laid out where you normally put stuff like I would put the washi and um, you know I put things in specific areas it was super easy to decorate and I like that the decoration like drives your eyes to certain things so that definitely is a forte for this. Um, however the cover coming off drives me nuts for whatever reason because I guess I'm used to being able to like slide my binders around or whatever 
The covers constantly come off on my Erin Condon planners and I bought some extra ones or whatever. So um, I eventually just took them off because it was making me so angry. And um, so then I switched out of this one after all the car stuff happened because this was just too big. And after the car stuff happened, I actually just got this. I don't know if there's anything personal in the front, so I'm not going to open it up. But um, I got this little mead planner. You can see it's super thin. And I, I was using a Balenciaga city bag at the time. I could toss it down in my city bag. And it was thin. It wasn't super weighty, so I went to this. So that one was out at that point. So I've been using this for the past couple months. You can see the setup on this um, where you just write. And honestly, when I got into this, no stickers, no decoration, completely utilitarian. It was like six bucks at Target. No muss, no fuss. Um, and, and just to kind of, you know, get in there, get their information in there and done. So now that things are starting to slowly calm down, um, I can kind of move away from the utilitarian a little bit. And so uh, a while back, I can't remember how many months ago, Kiki K was having a sale and I really love this teal color. I mean, obviously looking at my table, you can tell I love this teal color. So I'd gotten this purple, which I loved a couple years ago and I decided to get this teal color while it was on sale. I think I did a video on it, like an unboxing or whatever, um, but then life got crazy with the Disney trip and all that and never got to use it. So now I'm moving into this Kiki K and this is what I'm gonna be using right now. So if I'm doing any sort of plan with me videos, they're now gonna be in this binder and then the Malden comes out in the fuchsia at the end of the year, so I'm hopefully gonna get that. I don't know whether it's gonna be A5 or a personal size, but I'm planning on getting that. So you'll probably see that at some point as well. But the strength of the Kiki Hay binder is one, I really like this binder style where you can clip it in and out really easily and I can add pages as I want to and take pages out. I really think that's the strength of this style, this binder style planner. Um, and then it's got the divide, the you know divided sections. I don't have anything written in here yet because I'm getting ready to move into it. But it's got the months, and then it's got you know the different days. I like this layout right now. It's working out really well for me. It's got a bunch of sections back here that I don't ever use, like shops and restaurants, birthdays. I keep in my address book. Same thing with addresses. I have a separate book for that. But I do really like that the to-do list is perforated. So I do really like that. And there's a bunch of notepads and everything included and also a pin thing already attached. So I'm getting ready to move into this one and I'm excited about using this binder style again. I think it works really well. And just from using like this little um, mead planner where it has like the month and then it has the you know days individually. And this is, you can kind of see, it's got the months are in the front section, but then it goes to the weekly view and it's the same kind of setup where it's got the different days. And I like the setup of this better. This is more like a file of facts and Kiki K setup where it's got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on one side, Thursday, Friday on the other side, and then Saturday, Sunday. I'm just so used to that, that this would kind of throw me off because it had Thursday down here. I just, my brain always thinks Thursday and Friday need to be over here. So that's what's going on. So I'm getting ready to move into this Kiki K binder. And I've got my little clips in there and it's all ready to go. I think the other strength behind the binder style is it just looks a little bit nicer as far as presentation. If you're gonna use it for decoration sitting on your desk. I mean, it's really very presentable a lot of times with the leather and it just looks nice and sleek and um, it's just, you know, very straightforward and I think a little bit nicer to be honest with you than um, some of these that just have the plastic covers. So I'm looking forward to going back to the style. I am glad that I tried like this um, bound style. Uh, it was interesting to go back to for a little while. But I think you can kind of tell that I'm a binder girl at heart. That's what I really like. And so I think that this one will do just fine. So that's my plan for planners going forwards and probably going into the next school year. So let me know if you have any questions down below. And thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.